hello friends welcome back to civil depth bd today we will model overhead water tank for this g plus four story residential building at first let's check the defined properties go to define section property slab section here we have defined water tank bottom slab eight inches okay now go to story five okay here story six is the topmost story okay this one we will replicate story six so go to edit edit stories and grid system modify slash show story data right click of mouse add story keep existing story heights here i am taking story height 8 feet number of added stories will be one insert above story 6 replicate new story from existing story 6 click on ok refresh view ok here the position of the overhead water tank will be just above the staircase okay so we don't need this additional column and slab panels so select additional slab panels and beams columns and delete them we can delete this landing slab also this one is the landing beam delete this one now we have to delete waste slab because after roof after roof slab we do not need any waste slab or staircase so delete them now check the properties of other beam here this one is 12 by 18 inch so model a roof beam here go to draw beam select the property 12 by 18 then draw a beam here okay now we have to model the bottom slab of overhead water tank so go to draw floor slash wall command then from the drop down menu select water tank bottom slab 8 inches then model the slab here we are considering that uh, this slab is one way in x direction so this direction is okay here now we have to replicate this story to the above so again go to edit edit stories and grid system modify slash show story data right click of mouse by pointing the cursor here at story 7 then select add story keep existing story heights here i am taking six feet number of story one here story seven story seven click on ok refresh view ok now that means this is the top slab of overhead water tank but if we select here and just right click of mouse we can see that this uh, the slab thickness of this panel is 8 inches but we don't need uh, that higher thickness for the top slab so what will we do we will select this slab then go to assign then we will go to shell then we will go to slab section then we can select slab 6 inches one way okay click on apply okay that means bottom slab thickness is 8 inches but top slab thickness is six inches due to the uh, force or pressure of water here we are considering a uh, higher thickness for the bottom slab now we have to model a uh, side wall for the overhead water tank so let's check the property of wall section go to define section property wall section okay here i will add a new property so just uh, select this one then add copy of property here i am uh, naming it as water tank side 
wall here i will take 8 inches here i am taking shell thin modifiers will be 0 0.7 pine then right here 8 inches click on ok click on ok now go to draw walls property select uh, water tank side wall 8 inches auto pier select yes that means ETEPS will provide the pier id automatically now we are interested to model uh, the side wall between story 8 and story 7 that means in plan view we have to model uh, the we have to start modeling from story 8 if we model from story 7 then the position of the side wall will be between story 7 and story 6 so we need to model this slab between story 8 and story 7 so we will start modeling from story 8 i hope it's clear now uh, we can start modeling just grid to grid okay now uh, what is pier id here just uh, select in any side wall then right click of mouse here you can see pier pw3 that means the pw3 is the pier id uh, for this uh, side wall but here uh, you can see there is no spandrel id that means this is not a spandrel this uh, wall or we can say that uh, this vertical wall is uh, considered as pier in etaps but if we do not provide this that means if uh, this uh, remains as uh, none that means it is considering here a eight inch wall that's fine but this it will not be able to design reinforcement for this eight inch shear wall or pier okay so for designing any pier or shear wall or any spindle in it has definitely you have to provide the pier id or a spindle id okay so from here i am again selecting pw3 select this one you can see here pier id is pw5 for this one we can select from here also here we have a beam okay so we can select from here here this one is pw4 and this one is pw3 okay pw6 and this one is pw5 okay fine that means uh, for all the peers there have a separate id so today we have completed a modeling of overhead water tank in etaps that's all for today see you in the next tutorial thank you